Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be improving this image by increasing the contrast in the dark parts of the image using just an adjustment layer and blend modes. Here's the original and here's our finish. Now if you like this video, make sure you click that like button and of course share with your friends. Also subscribe so you don't miss out on any videos in the future and to learn everything about Photoshop Elements, look at my complete training courses and you'll find a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. To fix the dark parts of this image, we'll be doing a two-step process. The first step is to actually make a black and white version of this and use the black and white version to increase our contrast. And then the second step is to blend that back into our original image. Doing the whole thing, of course, with an adjustment layer and then blending it back in using our blend modes. So to start off, go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer, and Gradient Map. Brings up our Gradient Map. Leave everything as is, choose OK. Now it should give you your foreground to background color right now, which is black to white, foreground black, background white. If you have different colors down here, it's okay because the same black to white is also the third choice on this. So either one foreground right here or black to white there. Either one is just fine, same thing. Okay, let's close that down. So that converts it to a black and white image. Now to improve this black and white image, we can actually modify that gradient. So to modify your gradient on an adjustment layer, double click on that icon right there and that brings your settings back up again. This is one of the nice things about using an adjustment layer is you can always go back and modify or adjust in the future. Now to adjust the gradient, click on this gradient right here and that opens up the gradient editor. You see up here, here's all of our gradients, all kinds of stuff and you can play with a lot of fun stuff. We'll just be sticking with the straight black to white. At the bottom down here, here's your black to white gradient. Left side is black, right side is white. And this corresponds to the dark still lights in the picture. So we're mapping the black color to the darkest values in the picture. So black to black. And we're mapping the light color here to the lightest values, which is right in here. So we're mapping white right into here. Everything else falls in and maps against the values that match in that color picture. Now here's where the adjustments come in. If you click on one of these two sides here, it gives you the control of that handle. And also notice when I click on one of these two control or color stops down here, I also get a little midpoint right there, a little midpoint diamond thing. We'll start off by grabbing the midpoint here. Now notice I have a kind of little finger shows up right there. If I pull down here, I have an arrow. If I come up a bit more, there's a finger. If I go a bit higher, right onto that midpoint here, it goes back to the arrow again. This is very important. So if you're in here and you just have that hand in there and you click there, it's going to give you a new color stop. You don't want that. To get rid of that, just pull it off. Go back to one of these color stops. So you want to go past the hand and back to where it shows as an arrow at that point. It's, it's kind of hard to grab, so be very careful of that. So make sure it's on the arrow icon on that midpoint. You can then grab that midpoint and move the midpoint around and adjust the mid values of your image. I'm going to move this to the left and give us a nice wider range of mid values. Somewhere over here looks pretty good on this one. Now if I pull this up a little bit, you can see here this is at location 29. So this looks pretty good for the midtone values. I like that setting. Again, that's at 29 here. My whites are nice and high. If you want your whites even brighter, you can just move the white control here. Click on this one. Notice that the top triangle becomes black. You can then pull that in and that will move those whites a bit further. Maybe just a little bit in. That will increase your white contrast. Now the darks aren't dark enough for me. I want to increase my contrast on the darks in this picture. That's our main reason for doing this. For that one, click on the black color stop and move this in. And you'll see that darkens down the dark side. Also notice how the midpoint color stop moves as I pull that in. So it keeps the midpoint values about the same in relationship 
to your white point values. So you can increase your contrast by pulling these in, and you can adjust your midtones by moving the midtone back just a little bit here. There we go. And you can increase your white contrast by moving your white value over here on the right hand side. So we're doing all of our balancing using these two color stops and the midpoint. And I think that looks pretty good. It's kind of it's nice and punchy, nice bright white, some nice dark darks in here. The hat looks good. So I'm very happy with that. Now my settings on this, if I click on the color stop down here, the black color stop, this is at position 8 or location 8. My midpoint nav, click on that one, is at location 25. And the white color stop here is at location 99. Choose OK. So we now have a nice black and white version of our color. Let me just close this box down. So I show and hide that. There's the original and here's our nice black and white version. So we've, we've kind of brightened up the background a bit and we've increased our contrast a bit back there. It gives a bit more snap to the picture but it's just a black and white. This is though one way if you want to convert to black and white you can go ahead and do it this way. There's your black and white image. But we want to use the black and white image now to come in and improve the color image. And I want to darken the darks without touching the light values. I'll leave the light values alone, but darken my dark values or control the dark values with that gradient map. You can do that by going to our blend modes. And right here we have one darker color. Click on that and then it brings in and blends in this black and white into just the darker colors using this to control the values of your dark color. If I show and hide that now you'll see that. See how the dark parts the background are now going darker. Everything else is staying the same. The light stuff stays the same. But I'm using this to come in and put in more contrast just into the black parts of the picture. Once you have that blend mode, you can then go back to this. Just double click on the icon right there. Click on your gradient map again. And you can now use this to adjust those dark values. Click on your dark and I can then adjust the dark values in here very easily and adjust my mid-tone values with this mid-tone control. It gives you a real nice control this way without using anything else, just using the gradient map and also that darker color blend mode. One last thing though, with this, if I show and hide this, it applies a little bit of that effect into the darker part under her chin, the dark part along the edge of her arm here, just a little bit, a little bit in here, a little bit underneath her hat. I want to fix those spots. I, I like how it actually increases the darkness of her eyelashes. That's fine. But I want to fix the shadow right in here and under the chin and on the dark parts of the hands and right down that arm. We can do that by blocking out this layer using the layer mask over here. As soon as you make your adjustment layer, you automatically get a layer mask. With a layer mask, white shows and black hides. So take your black foreground color and your paintbrush. I have mine set at 65 pixels. This is just a good size brush. You can see it. There it is right there. Good size brush for this picture. And I'm on the layer mask side. Look for that light blue outline. If you're over here and you see that, then double click on the layer mask side light blue outline. Now all you have to do is just come in and then paint right over those parts that you want to block this effect on and that's just the dark parts of the hands right in there and right above here in her forehead area and then right here underneath the chin. Everything else I'll leave the same but that just blocks it from those spots. And all I'm doing is I'm painting black on the layer mask and I'm blocking this effect from being applied to those parts of her skin tone so her skin tone still looks very natural. There you go, that's all there is to it. One last little adjustment you can do, you can control the overall application of this by adjusting the opacity on that layer. Let's just bring the opacity down just a little bit. I'll bring it way down. You can see here how I can really control that kind of fine tune that effect. I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit, maybe down to 94, to soften it up just a little bit. Okay, so there is the original, and there it is 
with the dark now and we're just hitting the dark parts of the picture and the dark parts in there and leaving everything else alone so it's really tightly controlled to just those dark values and giving some more punch to the picture by just those dark values making your hat look a lot nicer and the greenery in the background looks a lot nicer with this little control and we did the whole thing with just a gradient map adjustment layer and a darker color blend mode Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.